Greetings, fellow traveler. Today, I want to remind you that you operate with an awesome amount of power. So knowing this and being aware of this fact, I will hope that it would inspire you to not worry in various aspects. Don't worry about the things that are not in your control. Don't worry about the things that are in your control. Sometimes we can get caught up in the chaos that is life. We can lose sight of the fact that we create the world that we see. Now, that's not to mean that the goal is go out and control any and everybody by force. No, it's the power of thought. It's the power of intention. It's the power of the emotions that we nurture and feed. So in understanding this aspect, there's no reason to worry. Because even the situations or people that may spark a reaction out of us, within that situation, there is a hidden gem, a jewel, a lesson that we could take away. And that takeaway is, well, the only thing you need to not worry about it anymore. Let's think about it. Maybe you're in the workforce and you have a boss or a coworker that uh, they seem to get a rise out of getting in your way or stopping your progress. There's a couple ways you can go about it. You can fight fire with fire, force with force, and feel that tension, that resistance when you think about that person, when you encounter that person, when you encounter the obstacle in front of you, or you maneuver around it. By maneuvering around it, I mean, you eliminate the resistance. You either go along with it to remove the tension. You could remove yourself from the job or from that certain apartment to remove the resistance. There's so many different answers there for you. But the hardest, or I would say the most difficult is to overpower the situation. So that's a whole nother kind of energy you, you use up so much of your plentiful resource for what for one small situation and then doing that exerting all that force to that one situation other situations around you that you may have cause or concern to worry about you won't have enough energy to handle those and even if you do it's going to feel like it's not worth it because it doesn't take that much if it's a romantic relationship it's the same thing now, we, we know partnerships can be quite difficult. The give and take that we uh, feel that we may have to deal with or encounter, and that's fair. But there's also that release of not getting caught up in the struggle of resistance. By this, I mean, I was once with a partner that she just loved arguing. She'll make an argument out of anything. And no matter how right I was, there was no way to fulfill her well of problems because that's who she identified with being. She wanted to be argumentative. There was always a problem. There was no amount of solutions to the amount of problems she would find. And I got to a point where I, I just used too much energy. And when I finally realized and I said, you know what? There's nothing I could do about it. A weight was lifted off my shoulders. Because in that moment, I realized this whole time I've been reacting to this person who alchemizes problems like no other. And I began caught up in their world of chaos. But when I said there's nothing I could do with it, I had already won before the problem came. I already had it solved. So I shut up. If she wanted to get into a verbal argument, I shut up. Or I said, okay. If I just shut up, I walk away. And I observed what happened. And I would see somebody who was left with the problems that they were always looking for and they didn't know how to deal with them. 
they would leave. They would go use substances if they needed to. They would get on uh, social media, uh, call a friend to complain about me and how I don't want to do. I mean, the list goes on and on. But I realized when I made that choice to not worry about it, how freeing it was. Because I was giving away my power by allowing myself to react to some problems that weren't even mine. Okay. So I released it. And I was able to step back and see what was truly happening. This person was creating so many problems in their life, but they didn't care about solutions coming from within them. That the problems were just perpetual. I mean, it was just eye opening. I'm sharing that with you because a majority of the perceived issues that I found myself struggling with up to this point in my journey wasn't even my problem. <laughs> it wasn't. It could be dealing with a friend group, my peer group at certain periods. It could be work related. It just wasn't my problem. Romantic partners, it wasn't my problem. I'm not saying I was perfect in all these situations. I realized I don't care. And then not caring, I allow myself to sit back and see what happens when I don't involve myself in anybody else's issues, drama, problems. And the more I did it, the more I realized that I was the one allowing those problems to come into my life, to come into my reality. And it served me no purpose. Now I'm grateful because now I'm more aware of that. And then being more aware of that, it allows me to respect problems for what they are, which is not mine. If it's my problem, I deal with it. Cool. I've been away from that version of myself to make my own problems, everybody else's issues. So I'm in my peace with that. But when I see an issue, even if I have the solution, if my solution is not warranted to ask for, I'm not going to offer it. That in and of itself helps me reserve my power, protect my boundaries, and establish those for new connections. But also see, truly see the people that I deal with and interact with. See, I had a, I say for a majority of my 20s, I had this savior complex where I want to save everybody with an issue. And if I save everybody from their problems, that makes me a good person. No, I enable them to be <laughs> more chaotic. I enable them to find more problems, more problems. So when you take on that idea of solving everybody's issues, you come to a point where you realize that the more you solve, the more issues come. Let it go. Don't worry. There's somebody out there that's doing enough worrying for you and them. So focus on you. What opens your heart, what opens your mind, what keeps you engaged in your life, what keeps you in a place of gratitude, what keeps you wanting more and more to experience life in its beautiful forms. I haven't met one warrior, one chronic warrior, who feels as if they're grateful for where they are in life because they will magnify problems to the point that they're so big, they can't see past the problem. They can't see past the obstacle. They feel lost along their way, not realizing that they are the obstacle because all, the, all they wanna do is stare at the problem and the issues. I'm sharing this as an honest testimony for myself and un understanding more about the role that I play in the problems in my life even in current day. It's a day-to-day -day thing. It's a moment-to-moment -moment thing to remind yourself, man, you have so much power. Do you really want to waste it on someone else's issue? Not at all. I would rather feed 
nourish, connect with those who understand their own tremendous power, or better yet, those who need to be reminded that they do have power to overcome any and all things. Because any obstacles that we see, we create. Any people that I want to save, I create it. Because I open myself up to bring in those people that have problems so I could feel as a savior. So when I changed it up and I said, you know what? To make sure I tend to my problems, leave anybody else with their problems. And because I know I have the power to solve my problems and I'm doing that, let me see how they use their power to solve their problems. It was very telling. With these things said, I hope something I shared today put something on your mind and better yet, I hope it frees you from worrying, even if it's just for this brief moment. Because the more we worry, the more things we get to worry about. Understand and connect with your true power. Know that it lies within you, not outside of you. And please take this edition as a simple reminder that you are almighty, all powerful, just as your creator. Until next time, be blessed. And please don't forget to smile.